Welcome to Sligo, the land of heart's desire. Situated in the northwest of Ireland, Sligo has been blessed with more than its share of scenic beauty. From the heights of majestic Ben Bulban to the calm and tranquil waters of Loch Gill, there is a fine variety of mountain, lake and coastal scenery. More than that, it is an area of great historical and archaeological significance, a haven for those who love to delve into and explore the dim and distant past. Whatever way you choose to explore this corner of the Emerald Isle, you will be enthralled by the sheer beauty and character of the city and the countryside. This is indeed the land of heart's desire, as described by the distinguished and illustrious poet W.B. Yeats. Sligo City is situated on the Garavogue River, which drains Loch Gill into Sligo Bay. While keeping abreast of the great economic boom of the late 90s, the city has maintained and indeed preserved all that is best from the Sligo of the past. It has continued to promote and develop what is its greatest asset, the friendliness and charm of its people. Steeped in the cultural heritage of their land, their love of music and the arts knows no bounds. Two very important annual festivals bear witness to this fact. The Yates Summer School, which holds a high international reputation and features many distinguished speakers and examines many aspects of W.B. Yeats' work in relation to contemporary issues. And the Sligo Arts Festival is another significant event which is held each year during the month of May. From a long list of traditional musical legends, led by Michael Coleman from Calaval, who was the most influential Irish traditional musician of the 20th century, to the members of the young popular band Westlife, the entire musical spectrum has been covered with distinction and Sligo has left an indelible mark on the music world stage. <laughs> 